Hello. Okay. Next tutorial. This look is meant to be a recreation of the character Prince Nawada from the second Hellboy movie, which is the Golden Army, I believe. It was actually a request I got quite a while ago, as all my requests are. <laughs> Sorry, I take so long to do them. Um, this was requested by Hello Holly. So I'll put her name there. So thanks so much for the request. Um, super fun one to do. It doesn't. It's not overly complicated. It's the. I think the more complicated thing I had it was making the crown, which I ain't overly happy with. But I'm sure you guys can do better. Um, but yeah. So if you'd like to see how to recreate this look, stay tuned. So the first thing I'm going to do is block out my eyebrows because it doesn't have eyebrows in the film. Plus, I'm going to be applying some liquid latex over my brow just so I can like make the brow a bit more extended and make the eyes look a bit more sunken. Yeah, um, I'll pop a link here to a tutorial I've done before this, just teaching you guys how to block eyebrows out, just so you, if you don't know, and I'll need to save some time up in this video. So I'm going to skip ahead and block out my eyebrows, and we'll go from there. Make sure to apply an extra layer of, of spirit gum after you've applied the wax, just so they're completely secure, so it's safe to put um, latex over the top of them. Then I can take some regular liquid latex and a small sponge, and just be really patient and just slowly... Dab over your eyebrows, try not to go too far up, and I'm just going to extend that all the way along, just so I've got no gaps in the latex. So I'm going to cover this whole area here, and not much more, I might go a little bit higher. So just do that and let it dry, and then we'll go in with a second coat. After that we'll start layering out with some tissue. Then I can take some regular tissue, like so, and I've, just, I've torn it in two so I've got the thinner half. And this is my second coat of latex now. So I can just press it in while it's still wet, just over my eyebrow, make sure it's completely stuck down, and then I can just take some more latex and completely saturate the tissue, and that will just help the layers build up a lot quicker. Just make sure the edge is completely saturated and blended out. Okay, so I'm going to do that for probably for about six coats, five to six coats, all along here, making, it's going to be one or two coats in the middle, but mainly it's going to be heavier here. And the idea is just to make this whole area more prominent, so just keep layering it up. So I'll make sure it dries in between each layer, of course, as well. So yeah, I'm going to do that and we'll go from there. So there we are. After about six coats, I think this is, it starts looking like that. So you can see from the profile, it's ever so slightly raised. And it also straightens out the eyes, so it's just got this really, really stern expression. If that's the right word to use. Yeah. So for the foundation, I'm going to be applying... Not a white base, more it's white, but it's got this hint of skin tone to it. So usually I use um, like a, a liquid foundation like Mac Studio Fix Fluid and NW15, and I mix it with Snazaru Clown White, which you can still do that if you want. But I've recently found a new way of doing it. I I was recently at IMATS this year, and I'll be doing a IMATS haul video soon. Um, but I managed to pick up some Paris Berlin foundations, and this one is in number 50, I believe, yeah. Um right there it's basically it's white but it's got a slight hint of skin tone it's perfect it's, it's proper proper creamy foundation so, um so this will save me some time and mixing things up and that so i mean you can still do it the previous way that i used to do it but this will save me a lot of time so yeah so i'm gonna apply that all over my face and my neck uh, make sure when you apply over the latex just to dab it with a brush rather than stroke it because you don't want to lift up any of the latex edges There we are, so I'm going to leave my neck and my chest area till last actually because I think I might just do my entire body and have a topless look, I don't know, we'll see. Um, so now I've done that I can take some Grimace translucent powder and I can just start pressing this all over my face just to make the colour a bit more even and just to set it really so it isn't as shiny. I'm then going to take a Grimace Black Cream in 101 and uh, the reason I'm using a cream is just because this a black cream is usually really, really nice and dark, plus it blends itself out, which is awesome. So I'm going to cover my entire eyelids, and I'm going to smoke it out. By, after I've applied it, I can take a clean brush, and I can start blending the colour out. I don't want to go too far underneath the eye. It's more about having it upwards and having a straight line across the top, but you'll see as I go along. Just take a clean brush and I can start smoking this colour out so there's no harsh edge. 
There we are. So that kind of a shape. But now I can go in with a MAC brown eyeshadow. This is in Embark. So I'm just going to take a medium fluffy brush and I'm just going to lightly coat that. And the idea is I'm going to go all around the edge just from the centre and pulling the colour out. Not too far, just enough that it smokies over the top of this and gives that earthy colour. It needs that earthy tone to this look. So. Also, just bring the colour in the centre like that, so it flicks the eye up in the middle. Just to, because I'm going to do the other side like this, it should hopefully give the illusion that he's not grimacing, but mm, it's a difficult expression to describe. He's very stern looking, isn't he, throughout the entire film? <laughs> I'm then going to take that same dark brown and not apply it too heavily, and I'm going to use it for my contouring. So I'm going to go down the sides of the nose quite heavily, just blend it inwards so it leaves the bridge of the nose free from uh, the contouring powder or the eyeshadow I should say um, okay I'll do a bit more on that in a sec now we need to do the masculine jaw line so it's going to go across then down to the very male pout look <laughs> very Johnny Depp so it goes down the cheekbone and then just at the stop where your cheek stops so we're just going to blend that downwards into itself do the same on the temples as well just yeah just to make the face look that much more hollow I'm going to take a dark brown Grimace Cream in 1001 and this, the reason I'm using a brown again is just because I want to keep this whole earthy tone. Okay, and I'm going to take a sharp angle brush and the idea is that I can make these types of lines so I'm going to go try and trace the lines he has in the film so it's this long squiggle going across the nose and then jagged lines down there's a few on the forehead as well so I'll try and take this slow. It has to be fairly <clears throat> fairly symmetrical, so wish me luck with this. I'm just gonna it's gonna look really silly but I'm just gonna take my fingers and I'm just gonna pull the colour down into the bags of my eyes just to make it look more less neat and more so like sunken and slept in I guess you could say. <laughs> he has got these swirly patterns here as well but with my wig and my crown you're not gonna see that so I'm not gonna bother with that but you can do the whole yeah. Um next I'm gonna take the same brown cream and I'm just gonna it's going to be kind of like lipstick, but it needs to blend outward. So don't go straight to the edge of your lip. Just do it inside itself, and then we can just start smoking it out just outside the lip line. So not quite black, but it's going to. I'm going to use that brown cream, so it's going to be quite dark. Then, uh, even though there's not a huge amount of depth in the film, because I'm not sure if these are meant to be cuts or scars or it's difficult. All these people seem to have them, so. But I'm going to make them look a little bit deeper, so I'm going to take some uh, Rigid Clodion by Crowlin, which basically, when you apply it to the skin, puckers the area. So I'm going to apply that all over all of these cuts here. Just one coat should do it, and just let it dry, and it will start sucking the skin in and making it look a little bit more three-dimensional. Then, sorry, skipped a bit. I was just, I took some of the rest of the brown cream, made it as light as I could, so there's hardly any left on the brush, and I just traced some brow furrow lines. I'm also just going to do a tiny bit around my nose and down the nasal labial folds, just to 
make them look, look make the face look a little less neat and yeah just look it look a bit more aged really then lastly I can take some MAC black fluid line in black track and I'm just going to line the waterline of both my eyelids just underneath and on top just to make the eyes that little bit extra dark and sunken in I then popped in two Scalera lenses that are 17mm lenses. These are from eyesbright.com. I'll pop the link in the description bar below. I'll also put the description, the link to the actual pair of lenses that I'm wearing. They're, I think they're called Tigera or Tigera, Tigera. I think it is. Sorry, can't pronounce it. Um, but yeah, aren't they awesome? Is they cool? <laughs> um, but yeah, because he's got these yellow eyes that are slightly wider than a regular eye and slightly larger plus they've got that hint of yellow with that black rim around the edge and I think these are closest that you're going to get or that I'm going to get so yeah <laughs> um so yeah the only thing left to do really is for me to cover the rest of my neck my body and apply my wig and my crown and there we are so I didn't cover my arms or my lower half of my torso because I mean you would do if you went out but for you guys it's just easy for me just to do that half but yeah um the crown and the wig yeah best way to explain this um, <laughs> I searched everywhere and everywhere for a wig that was not white, but the lightest shade I could find of blonde. And I managed to find this wig that was about six foot long. So I've cut it and cut it and cut it and managed to get this wig out of it, which, yeah, no, it, it's kind of success successful, hopefully, I think. Um, I spray painted the bottom halves, I spray painted the bottom with gold and then yellow, just as a gradient to go up, because in the film he has this really lovely gradient going upwards and gets lighter as it goes up. Um, the crown, <laughs> it's very, I, I'm not overly happy with the crown, I'm sorry. Um, I tried to make it, I mean, I made it out of card and a hot glue gun and some gold metallic spray paint. I think it does the job, I don't know, it kind of looks a bit too theatrical, I think, but I don't know. I thought I'd add that little extra touch just so it says Golden Army. Um, and yeah, so that's my Prince Noir to look. I guess. <laughs> um, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you like it, you know, make sure to, you know, rate, comment, subscribe as the usual. And yeah, so until next time, bye.